Hello, this is Jeff with GoEngineers Tech Support. In this quick tip video, I'm going to show you how you can change the path of your actors from a linear path to a curved path when creating animations. So in this example, I'm going to just pull this wristwatch out of the box that it's in, and we want to follow, follow a curved path rather than a straight path to make it look a little nicer and, and more natural. So first to do this, I'm going to turn off the auto keys button so I have a little more control of creating the keys for the animation. And I also want to select the whole assembly for the wrist watch. So we'll use, make sure to use assembly selection mode is turned on. And then we can go ahead and just select, make sure that we select the watch, the root uh, actor for the watch to select everything. So we'll start off by going ahead and setting the keys for it, the initial set, uh, location, and then we can just move our time up to, we'll do a two second animation here, and we can easily just use transform to move the wristwatch to our end position, just linear, using linear transformations. And then we'll set the uh, location keys for that new location. And we'll see that initially by default, you'll get a linear path, uh, so if we play this animation here, we'll see that it just follows a straight path. So to actually change that to a curved path, we'll change that in the properties. So again, we'll select that wrist watch uh, root actor. And if you look at the uh, properties for it under animation and path, you'll see it's set to linear. You have three options here, custom, smooth, or linear. Uh, if you do the smooth, it will try to naturally automatically do a smooth transition but a lot of times that's not exactly what you want so when you select the custom option you actually be able to control the handles for the the spline path that it's going to follow uh, so let's select our route here and adjust our spline handles to get a more path what we want and then we also need to make sure to set the keys for the actor to save that property setting there so we'll go ahead and set keys for the uh, wrist watch assembly, and that should take care of that. So when we play our animation, it follows that curved path rather than the straight one. So I hope you enjoyed watching how easy it is to have your actors follow curved paths rather than the linear paths by default. And thanks for watching. Again, I'm Jeff Jensen with GoEngineers Tech Support.